I like this gimmick more than you know. So cheesy you'd think it would bring me woe. But I'll hold my head high, not low. Cause you know what? I think I believe in Bo. What's up? I'm Pete Lasky, and this is Raw Emotion, where I take a look at this week's Monday Night Raw, and I tell you a little bit about what I think and a lot about how I feel. Of course, I'm not going to cover everything, just the parts that made me feel feelings. And first of all, Mick Foley's shirts. They just keep getting better. That's all. Next thing. Hey, Raw opened with women. Yes! Excellent. Women's wrestling. And then the segment they opened with was really awkward and just stilted and... Just uncomfortable. But it led to a pretty good match, I'd say. I really liked that match. That was fun. As much as this, the whole opening segment was weird. And let me just side note real quick. Charlotte is a great wrestler and a great champion. But it might be the only one who thinks that any time she says or does anything on the mic, it's always just like so unnatural and just like not believable. I mean, I know I'm asking a bit much uh, from a professional wrestler, but I mean... You can be better than that, Charlotte. Hey, come on, if you're going to be champion anyway. But that match was cool. Cooler than I thought it would be. I also like Dana Brooke. You know, she's on the same level for me as Mojo Rawley in that I love watching both of them in the ring. They're both very strong. They've both got this energy and brutality that they can bring to it. But man, the second either of them opens their mouth, I just want to... Ah, just throat chop them. Ah, so annoying. But I really enjoyed watching that match and watching Sasha retain her place as the uh, number one contender to the Women's Championship. Awesome. The angry, growling, jobber, squashing, Dr. Seuss talking, Bo Dallas is back and I think I'm in love with this gimmick. I may be too early to tell, but I think I'm really into this. Is this what happens? You just have to get drunk in an airport and sing Disney songs and then you get a cool angle like this? Okay. Cesaro and Sheamus had their next match, however many they're into now, their best of seven, and if, you know, it was a predictable outcome through the whole thing, but that just speaks to how good these two wrestlers are at what they do, because I was still engaged throughout it, even though I was pretty darn sure Cesaro was gonna win, no matter how much he was selling his back injury. And even the ending itself they kept interesting, with Cesaro's little, uh, little, oh, I can't do it, oh, not flexible. He put his foot on the rope to get the pin. Kind of a heel win there. Okay, alright. You got my attention. So I am really interested to see how this feud plays out. Will there be a double turn? Uh, pfft, knowing WWE, maybe. Nia Jax had her least squashy match since she was drafted to Raw this week and I really enjoyed it. Watching Alicia Fox make her work for a win and then, I mean, just getting worked by Nia. But she was just Hulk smashing Alicia Fox back and forth in the barricade by her head and then just spears her through it. Ooh. Ooh. But it was a real match against a wrestler we know, and that's exactly, if you remember last week, this is exactly what I was hoping was going to happen. Now it's going to move into a feud, and she's going to have a storyline. They've established her as this unstoppable beast of a person, and now... Story. The New Day came out before their match with Gallows and Anderson and basically cut a promo that apologized for how stupid last week's promo was. I forgive you, New Day. I forgive you. I don't forgive Gallows and Anderson. I don't forgive WWE Creative for doing this to Gallows and Anderson. Although, to this week, they actually looked kind of tough. Kind of, you know, kind of B.A. Looked like they maybe were getting some of that hardcoreness back and that they're just going to ditch this little comedy gimmick. Fingers crossed. Maybe we see a title switch at Clash of Champions. Who knows? Because at this point, Gallows and Anderson have essentially become like those two really lame uncles that everyone seems to have who think they're really funny and just hilarious everything out of their mouth and then turn around and start bragging about how they could totally take whoever in a fight. But maybe they're ditching that. Who knows? We'll see. Ooh, so they gave Jinder Mahal the mic this week and that, oh, that might have been a mistake. Oh, man. Yeah, don't really know what that match was about, why we had to have some Attitude Era style uh, foreign jobber squash. Is that all Jack Swagger does now is wait until it gets just a little too foreign in here and goes in and America's it up a little bit and then loses? It really felt like more of a filler match than anything. I, I just, I don't... Why? And hey, speaking of those crazy foreigners, well, I guess Puerto Rico is in the United States, but still, the Shining Stars are literally selling timeshares now. And then they won again in a match versus Enzo and Castle. Well, Epico versus Enzo. 
Uh, and still with, with the dirty win, but still, it's a win. They're doing something with these guys instead of just jabbing them out constantly. All right. Interesting. You have my attention. I don't like it yet, but you have my attention. The main event, for the most part, was kind of contrived, you know, uh, a little predictable, but I, I still really enjoyed watching it. Of course I'm going to enjoy watching that. Again, I, I like Roman Reigns in the ring. I do. I love Kevin Owens. Seeing them go against each other, just brutal, just intense. You had Seth Rollins come in and interfere, who is sounding more and more like a face these days, but then still doing heel stuff like this. I don't, it's not very clear, which I kind of like that ambiguity between face or heel. I, th I think that's, there's room for that in wrestling, definitely. But then the DQ bell rings, McFoley gets in there, gets Seth out of there, and says, nah, nah, just go ahead and restart the match. It's not ending like that. I've just had too much today. I'm not dealing with it. No, we just go again. And then Rusev comes in later and interferes on behalf of Kevin Owens. Well, maybe not on behalf of Kevin Owens, mostly just against Roman. No DQ called there. Ref didn't see it, I guess. Then there's a beatdown. There's an, an accolade, and Roman's not going to be in the main event of Clash of Champions, which... Good! The right guy won this match. Some weird stuff happened. I'm not sure how I feel about it, but I liked watching it, so I guess I liked it. We're gonna go with I liked it. Well, that's all I had, though, for this week's edition of Raw Emotion. Let me know in the comments what you thought about this week's Monday Night Raw. What do you think we should talk about in the future? Other kinds of videos we could do. And keep your eyes out this week, not only for Rick's new series, Caution Tape. It's an NXT review series. There's gonna be a link to that in the description. And I'll put a link to it uh, right over here over Dean's face, too. Why not? Put that right there. And then just below it, I'm gonna put a link also in the description to eventually when we have the video for a new series we're starting called Smacktivism with the Smacktivist himself, Wes Webb, who you will realize, 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 recognize, who you will recognize from other videos on this page. So go ahead and give those a click, give this video a like, go ahead and share it with people that you think might be interested in it, and subscribe. I don't have a clever thing for the subscribe button today. Just just click it, guys. Just, it's right there. It's bright red. Can't miss it. It's a little, little rectangle. Subscribed. That's all I had to say about that. So we are out of here in one, a two. I think I'm in love with this gimmick. Blah, gimmick. She was just Hulk smashing. Alicia Fox by the head, back and forth into the barricade, and then just spears her through one. Oh, come on! Well, that's all I had, though, for this week's edition of Monday Night...